learning. The COVID-19 lockdown was announced on March 24, 2020, and online classes at Indiprastha began on 27th March. Indiprastha was one of the schools with teachers already trained in the art of online teaching. The school won the award for most effective blended learning by Education World. We are proud to announce that the school has been ranked number one in Delhi NCR and number seven at national level for extraordinary leadership at the Education Today Grand Jury Awards. The school was awarded the green rating in the prestigious Green Schools Awards. The school was designated as a Microsoft Showcase School for the class of 2022-23. It was a proud moment for Indiprastha when we were chosen amongst the top 12 schools of the country to showcase its innovative pedagogies and be a part of the exhibition organized by CBSE to commemorate two years of the National Education Policy 2020. The exhibition, which was inaugurated by Shri Amit Shah, Home Minister, Government of Delhi, showcased some of the best educational institutes of the country and the practices adopted by them. The school was bestowed with the Gold Level Award and the Best Global Business Idea Award at the School Enterprise Challenge by Teacher Mantefish. In the Prastha has pioneered the innovative happiness, entrepreneurial mindset and Desh Bhakti curricula initiated by government of NCT Delhi under the leadership of Mr. Himanshu Gupta, IAS Director of Education. Over 220 principals and teachers from the reputed schools of Delhi attended the session at In the Prastha. The event witnessed Mr. Himanshu Gupta, IAS Director of Education as the revered chief guest and Mr. Shalendra Sharma, Principal Advisor to the Director of Education. Initiated by the Chief Minister of Delhi, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, and the Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Mr. Manish Sisodia, Mukhya Mantri Vigyan Pradhiba Pariksha, conducted by the Science Branch of the Directorate of Education, Government of NCT of Delhi, students of our school took the exam and qualified successfully. Students of the Interact Club of our school, Noor A. Inayat, received the Governor's Choice Award for presenting a Karnatak on the theme, Imagine a Better Tomorrow. The Eco Club of our school took a novel initiative, wherein they conducted an e-waste management collection drive, contributing notably to the environment. We once again rose to the pinnacle of academic excellence with the declaration of the AISS EE Class 12th and 10th results for the session 2021-22. The Class 12th result of our students has been exceptionally brilliant. Out of 182 students of Class 12th, an overwhelming 88 students have secured 90% and above in aggregate. The school average for this session is 86.1%. The class 10th result set yet another benchmark with a 100% result. Manna Chadda of class 12 secured the first rank in 11 to 12th track of the Eureka Junior 2021, which is a national level business plan competition organized by the entrepreneurship cell of IIT Bombay. She won a cash prize worth 20,000 rupees and a scholarship to Singapore. In the International Maths Kangaroo Competition 2022, Pratyush Ghosh of our school received the gold medal for securing the exemplary Indian National Rank 7 among school students of top 75 plus countries. Pratyush was also felicitated with an esteemed ISRO visit tour at the Dr. Vikram Sarabhai Space Center ISRO for securing the impeccable first rank in the National Astronomy Challenge 2022. Another feather in the cap that Pratyush bagged is an honorable Guinness Book of World Records certificate for attending live astronomy sessions conducted by Navras Edutech. Let's give him a huge round of applause. Shubhra Sahu of 12A won back the first place in the grand finale of Curiosity Quiz, jointly hosted by Ideas That Matter, Shulini's outreach team, and the Faculty of Management Sciences and Liberal Arts. Manya Sharma is the recipient of the Inspire Award for submitting a brilliant scientific idea. Four other students of IPIS received 10,000 rupees each for their innovative ideas which were selected at the state level. The project submitted by Yuvan Chikara of Class 9 was a judge top 50 innovative AI-based project winner at the national showcase of the Building AI Resources Readiness Among Young Innovators program held in New Delhi. 
Adira Nair passed FIT in Deutsch 2 exam and won a trip to Candy Sri Lanka, which was fully sponsored by the Goet Institute. Varun Subramaniam achieved the 27th rank out of 152 students in the JSTSC exam conducted by Directorate of Education, Delhi. At the 39th Aryabhata Inter-School Maths Competition, students of our school got exemplary rankings. Krisha Chakraborty and Sanat Lamba scored a glorious 198.5% respectively in the FIT exam in Deutsch 1. Both of our champions won a visit to Orcha, Madhya Pradesh. Dear audience, if excelling in inter-school events is an indication of our prodigies at work, I feel immensely proud to share with you that this year we have lifted more than 15 rolling trophies from various inter-school, zonal, state and national level competitions by emerging as the overall winners from reputed schools. We bagged a glorious win at Mount Kamal School, Dwarka. We emerged as champions at Army Public School, Dhola Kuwa. We showcased a stellar performance at APJ School, Panchil Park. We were bestowed with encomiums at Shaw International School. We won laurels at Ambience Public School. We once again became winners at Vivekanand Public School. Our students left everyone speechless at APJ School, Saket. In the Prastha proved its medal at Gyan Mandir Public School. We emerged as winners at Mata Jaipur Public School. We bagged a marvelous win at Adarsh Public School. We showcased a stupendous performance at Indraprastha Global School. We won laurels at DAV School, Kingsway Camp. We were bestowed with accolades at Paramount International School. Our students won the rolling trophy at the Inter-School Roller Skating Championship at TSY Academy. We made our school proud at DDA Sports Complex at the Inter-School Yoga Championship. The winners deserve a loud roll of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Though our talented students won more than 300 prizes in various inter-school events, allow us, ladies and gentlemen, to share the ones widely appreciated. Atiksh Bhadwaj, Manvika Chahan, Siddhi Kalra and Advik Sharma won the first prize at Army Public School, Shankar Vihar. Our students won the first prize at Army Public School, Dhola Kuma. Our team won the first prize at K.R. Mangalam School. Namesh Chuk, Sarthak, Pihu Singla and Vihan Chadda won the first prize at Indraprastha Global School. Habish Khan Chandani won the first prize at Indraprastha Global School. Ashi Kaur, Sara Chakwal and Paridhi Batra won the first prize at Indraprastha Global School. Dear Rajput, Janvi Netani, Ishanya, Pratyush and Ivan Bajaj won the first prize at Gyan Mandir Public School. Adhirat Singh, Parth Saxena and Harkirat Singh won the first prize at Indraprastha Globe World School. Khyati Dang won the first prize at DAV School. Kimaya Kapoor won the first prize at Mata Jaipur Public School. Meher Nandarjog won the first prize at Vishwabharti Public School. Dia Rajput and Adhvik Sharma won the first prize at New Era Public School. Tejas Bhardwaj, Trithika Yadav, Vritti Goel and Palak Chopra won the first prize at Mount Olympus School. Netik Sethi won the first prize at St. Thomas School. Yashvita Iyer and Gauri Nandana M won the first prize at St. Thomas School. Namish Chug won the first First prize at BBPS Noida and IIT Delhi. Nandini Sharma won the first prize at Sadhu Vaswani International School for Girls. The winning streak continued at Sadhu Vaswani International School. Bolkit Chopra, Aditi Rawat and Vrinda won the first prize at Air Force Golden Jubilee. Mankirat Singh and Adi Shravan won the first prize at Army Public School. Adi Shravan and Ayush Panwar won the first prize at Mount Kamal School. Angad Bajaj, Ankur Dev, Ayush Bhatt, Laksh Tanwani and Devyansh Malhotra won won the first prize at Army Public School. Ekan Shwadwa won the first prize at Bhartya Vidya Bhavan Mehta Vidyalaya. Ekan Shwadwa and Adi Shravan won the first prize at Mount Carmel School. Rushil Vich won the first prize at Hava Hava Quiz by csindia.org. Chetna Sodi and Vanya Roshan won the first prize at Bal Bharti Public School. Aditi Rawat won the first prize at GD Goenka Public School. Akarsha Kashyap and Kriti Gupta won the first prize at Jaspal Kaur Public School. Our young prodigies made us proud as they won the first prize at Gita Ratan Jindal Public School. Nachiket Soni, Bhumik Kataria, Yashvi Dhaya and Niyati Chauhan won the first prize at Maharaja Agrisen Model School. Our students
students participated in Gandhi Smriti for 153rd birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi in front of the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi. The winning streak does not end, ladies and gentlemen, as the success saga of Indoprastha International School continues. When it comes to team events, our champions cannot be left behind. They have added several golden sparks to our fireworks. At North District Taekwondo, AFAX Fitness Center, Dwarka, the school won 10 gold, 2 silver and 6 bronze medals. At First Delhi State Happy Hero Taekwondo Championship 2022, the school won 3 gold, 3 silver and 8 bronze medals. Five students are selected for the Happy Hero National Championship in Kolkata. At 16th Ramjas Inter School Table Tennis Tournament 2022, Myra Manchanda was selected as the best player. At Hunar Table Tennis Tournament, Ayushi secured the first position, Myra Manchanda secured the first runner up position, and Yana Dalal secured the second runner up position. At the Zonal Table Tennis Tournament Senior Boys, Akib Abdullah, Pulkit Chopra, Daksh Tura and Hargun Singh won the first prize. At the district table tennis tournament, Gunisha Arora and Daksh Tura secured the second runner-up position. At state rope skipping championship 2022, organized by the Rope Skipping Federation of India, Bani Singh won the first prize. Bani Singh won the first prize at team event and speed sprint. At the West Delhi district badminton championship, Shivanj Panchal won the first prize and Oditi Panchal secured the runner-up position. Shreyas Das secured the first prize at U1500 International Chess Day Championship, the first position in cash prize at CMC Open Rapid Tournament and the first position at U15 International Chess Championship. He won the first runner-up position at IGSF Open Chess Tournament, the second runner-up position and a cash prize at Summer Cup Fight Open Ratting Chess Tournament the 4th position at Delhi Chess Association Under 15 Open School and the 5th position at 4th Bangalore Open Fight Ratting Chess Tournament. At Dr. Satyapal Inter-School Chess Championship 2022, Daksh Koyal, Shreyas Das, Aram Arora, Akarsha and Samarth Jain won the first runner-up position in Open category. At Hunar, an Inter-School Sports Odyssey, Samarth Jain and Netik Sethi won the first position and Gorisha won the first runner-up position. At Delhi State Roller Skating Championship 2021, Harsh Salanki won the first prize. At Inter-School Roller Skating Tournament 2022, the school won 4 gold, 4 silver and 2 bronze medals. At Independence Open Roller Skating Championship 2022, the school won 8 gold, 6 silver and 3 bronze medals and the school won the overall first runner-up position. Avni Bindal won the first prize at Skipping Zonal. At the 23rd RSFI National Rope Skipping Jump Rope Championship organized by Rope Skipping Federation of India, our students won two gold and one bronze medal. At Tennis Academy of India, Arnav Arora won the first prize. At the national ranking tournament, Arnav Arora reached the quarter-final level. Harshwadhan represented the Delhi team at 5th National Film Swimming Federation Cup 2022 in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. At the 15th West Delhi Inter-School Swimming Championship 2022, Harshwardhan won the first position in 100 meter, 50 meter, and butterfly race, and Samra Singh secured the runner up position. At Daniel Delaney Inter School Swimming Championship 2022, Samra Singh secured the second runner up position. At Small Side All India Football Federation Football Championship Season 4 Under 17 Boys, our team secured the runner up position. At Fitness Cutters at Bal Bharti Public School, Noida, Siddhak Singh won the first prize. The accolades are endless, ladies and gentlemen. Please keep the applause going. At In the Prastha, we believe that winners imagine their dreams first. They want it with all their heart and expect it to come true. For they believe that there is no other way to live. Our enigmatic leaders, Chairman Sir and Director Sir, have been awarded the Inspiring Leaders North 2022 Award for Excellence as Global Leaders in Education. Heartiest congratulations to the Indoprastha family. It is indeed inspiring to know that our mentor, Dr. Rajesh Sasija, Managing Director in the Prasa Group of Schools, was elected as a member of the CBSE governing body, impacting the lives of thousands of students throughout the country. Our Honorable Director Sir was acknowledged as a visionary leader in education and awarded the ET Leadership Excellence Award by Optimal Media Solutions. His contribution in the field of education in training and mentoring young minds odyssey has made him a pedagogical grandmaster.
our librarian Miss Vanita received the prestigious AKS Global Librarian Award 2022. Let's give her a huge round of applause. Ms. Gunit Kaur, Department Head, Computer Science, was selected as a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert for 2022-23 and a Certified Google Educator. She has also been awarded Innovative Teacher of the Year Award and Global Women Inspiration Awards 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the leaders we all cherish, the ones who are rewriting history with their achievements. Since its inception, Indaprastha has come a long way and has embraced the zenith of elation. Indaprastha schools were established with the vision of imparting quality education through constant innovations and making a difference in the life of each and every learner. As we come to a close, we are reminded that the journey of life is long and tiring. Yet here I would like to quote, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. With this, we come to the end of our school's glorious annual report. It has indeed been a shining year of achievements and it is befitting that we request for a huge round of applause for our Indaprastha. Ladies and gentlemen, our chief guest for this evening, Mr. Shubham Sharma, has entered the school premises. Our school band is playing to welcome our chief guest, Shubham sir and Mrs. Shubham into the school. Other dignitaries are Chairperson Ma'am and Chairman Sir in the Prastha Schools, Director Sir in the Prastha Schools, Principal Ma'am. Additional Director Ma'am will also be joining us for this glittering evening. Our chief guest for this evening, Mr. Shubham Sharma, Indian Administrative Services, Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, and our guest of honor, Ms. Savita Dral, Deputy Director of Education, have arrived, accompanied with Chairperson Ma'am and Chairman Sir in the Prastha Schools, Director Sir in the Prastha Schools, Principal Ma'am and other distinguished guests. We also welcome Mrs. Sharma and parents of Mr. Shubham Sharma. Please give a huge round of applause and a standing ovation to all the dignitaries. Let's hear it for them once again and may I request a standing ovation from the audience.
respected guests, grandparents and parents. Today I, Parvi Aroda, along with Suhani Saxena, extend a warm welcome to this beautiful evening full of promise to give you memories to cherish for years to come. The students of Indoprasta International School are ready to present before you the annual show, Awakening Aaj Ke Abhi Man New. Let's have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I now invite principal of the school, Shifali Ma'am, to extend the formal and floral welcome to the dignitaries. Is it working? Yes. Thank Check. you so much. First of all, a huge round of applause to the parents Check. who are waiting so patiently. We had made arrangements for 3,000 chairs and you can see the jam-packed field. May I request some of you to squeeze a little and accommodate the others. It will be very, very uh, good on your part. Thank you so much. I can see a lot of parents waiting in the wings towards that side. If you could find a little space for yourself, please do. Thank you so much, parents. A very good evening to each one of you present here today. It is my proud privilege to stand before this August gathering on the momentous occasion of Annual Day 2022. It is after a hiatus of three years that we have got this opportunity to present before you a plethora of talent and rightfully boast about the achievements of our children. The turnout today is a testimony to the excitement that is writ large on everyone's face. I, on behalf of the Indoprasta family, extend a very warm welcome to the esteemed guests, members of the managing committee, heads of schools, their parents and grandparents. Today I feel overwhelmed to see a dedicated alumnus of Indoprasta school reach the pinnacle of success and grace this occasion as the chief guest. The illustrious guest is none other than our own Mr. Shubham Sharma, Indian Administrative Services, working in the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India. After passing out from Indaprastha School in 2012, he completed his B.Tech in 2016. Thereafter, he pursued his MBA and cracked the GATE examination and qualified to do his M.Tech. His hard work and consistency paid rich dividends as he was selected in the Indian Administrative Service in 2020. In his initial stints, he was posted under Northeast Kader and was entrusted with the charge of Golaghat district to empower the youth of the area. He played a pivotal role in containing the spread of COVID-19 during the first lockdown. Thereafter, in 2021, he was posted to New Delhi in his present capacity. Empowering the youth with various employment schemes of the government is his mission to take the nation to become a $5 trillion economy by 2024. A young bureaucrat, he is the shining star of Indaprastha, who has not just made his alma mater proud by reaching this coveted position with grit and determination, but also brought honor to his parents, who will be joining us shortly. We welcome you, dear Shubham, whom I feel honored to call Shubham Sir. May we hear it for him. May I also hear a resounding round of applause for his inspiration, his wife who has accompanied him. Thank you so much. Our guest of honor, Ms. Savita Dral, Deputy Director of Education, did a graduation and post-graduation from the University of Delhi 
and was selected as principal after a stringent process of selection in 2001. At present, she is the DDE Southwest B1. She has been the recipient of the National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration National Award in 2021. Ms. Dral has been closely associated with CBSC and NCERT and has contributed towards the development of study materials in different subjects for various classes. We welcome you, Madam, with our gesture of gratitude for your presence. Parents, I think the guests deserve a louder round of applause. Thank you. Unrelenting passion, dedication, and diligence are some of the attributes of a person who is a visionary par excellence. Our dynamic couple, Mrs. and Dr. A.S. Rana, the chairperson and chairman of Indaprastha Group of Schools, are such visionaries who had the conviction of turning dreams into reality. Their fortitude and foresight to initiate a movement to change the world by providing holistic education to children with an aim to make them future ready to take on any challenge that they may face has resulted in creating this niche school which is not only ranked highly in all national surveys but also is recognized as a school of excellence. Brilliance in academic and co-curricular fields is ingrained in all our children and it is the guidance and personal involvement of ma'am and sir that has been our beacon to instill that brilliance in our students. Under their guidance, state-of-the-art infrastructure, highly qualified faculty and a dedicated team of administrators, the school has created a name for itself. For its passion towards the larger goal, he is instrumental in creating future leaders and I think we have one future leader sitting right next to him today. We welcome you, ma'am and sir. May we hear it for Chairperson, ma'am and Chairman, sir. We are indebted for the presence of Mr. K. L. Sophie, the architect of the Delhi School Education Act 1973, which set the systems for the functioning of schools and administrator par excellence, we welcome you, sir. I also take the privilege of welcoming Mr. L. S. Narayanan, former Deputy Director of Education and a champion of Sar Shiksha Abhiyan. A hearty welcome to you, sir. It is now time to accord a formal welcome to the captain of the ship, Dr. Rajesh Asija, an edu leader of repute. Your applause says it all. An edu leader of repute, sir, is a recipient of the highest honor bestowed on a teacher, the national award which he received from the then president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. A member of the governing body, Central Board of Secondary Education, Vice Chairman of National Progressive Schools Conference, Sir holds coveted positions in educational organizations that is working to uplift the standard of education, Pan India. A digital expert himself, he has authored books on information technology. His passion to initiate a digital revolution when COVID shook the nation, promote technology integrated teaching methodologies, flipped learning, just to name a few, makes him a leader par excellence. We have so much to learn from him. Mathematics happens to be his forte, but he leaves no chance in transacting the subject in any class. His connect with his children is a bond that is unmatched. Easily approachable, he is an exemplar that the teachers and students look up to for inspiration and he never disappoints. His anecdotes from his life experience never fail to motivate. He firmly believes that in the Prasta, we don't admit a child, we adopt a child. With this motto, he strives towards teach each child, develop whole child. A true leader and our source of inspiration, I extend a warm welcome to Director Sir and Mrs. Sapna Hasija.
our additional director, Mrs. Anupama, Ms. Anupama, ma'am, astute observations, guidance to the students, and personal involvement in the matters of school offers new perspectives to us. Her expertise in the field of technology is much appreciated and guides us on the path of excellence. A warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you, Anupama. I welcome Mr. O.P. Sharma, Education Advisor in the Prasta World School. Mr. M.S. Sangwan, Manager in the Prasta World School. I also take this opportunity to welcome Mrs. Shikha Arora, Principal in the Prasta World School for gracing the occasion with her presence. Thank you so much. Dear parents, you are our equal partners in grooming our children to reach their full potential. I will here like to mention the golden triangle of the students, parents and teachers, which plays an important role in shaping a student's personality. You have stood by us to support all our endeavors. When we went completely digital due to COVID, you replicated school at home to assist the teachers with virtual schooling. When the teachers worked hard, you worked equally hard at home. Today, we proudly present the annual day before you, which is a culmination of the hard work put in by your ward and the teachers. We welcome you to taste the fruit of hard work, bask in the glory of your ward's achievements, and enjoy the presentation that summarizes the values being imparted in school. Welcome dear parents and grandparents and thanks for reposing your faith in school time and again and I would want you to clap for yourselves for being the pillars of support for the school. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Crawford said and I quote, being challenged in life is inevitable, being defeated is optional, unquote. Completely in sync with the thought is our school motto, teach each child, develop whole child. We are inhabitants of a chaotic, chaotic world at present. Wars being waged, technology invasion, dilemmas in personal and professional lives, lack of patience that have all come about due to a failure of inculcating the right values in our children. A smooth sea does not make skillful sailors, as a famous African proverb goes. It is the current bhumi of the school that trains students to fight all odds, teach them negotiating skills to tide over difficult situations, stand for the hard right against the easy wrong, and learn to give in, yet at the same time, never to give up. We at Indraprastha firmly believe that education is not only the transaction of the curricula, it is much beyond that. We believe in endowing our students with academic excellence as one domain of learning, but also to provide 21st century skills of creative and critical thinking, self-confidence, decision-making, discipline, and perseverance. Our annual day theme of the year is Awakening, Arch Ke Abhimanyu. We have our Abhimanyus in the Karm Bhumi of Indraprastha. They only have to find their calling. The trigger is very much around them. They only need to discover it. Today's thought-provoking ballet and the spectacle of music and dance will regale you. Our students have immense talent and it is their talent that will enthrall and mesmerize you. It is from today's, it is an extravaganza engaging 1500 plus students and dear parents, the message from today's show can be summed up in Natalia Kamanich's quote, I don't run away from a challenge because I am afraid. Instead, I run towards it because the only way to escape fear 
is to trample it beneath your foot. I conclude my address with a prayer on my lips for all my children to be fearless in the face of adversities, excel in all domains of learning, and guided by the right values, rise to face all obstacles that come in their path of glory and success. Thank you, and I sincerely hope you enjoy this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. In the words of President Desmond Tutu, and I quote, Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. The ceremonial lamp with its hopeful glow is symbolic of the divine benevolence that illumines all our endeavors. It is meant to dispel the darkness of ignorance, spreading the light of true understanding of fellow beings and thereby a deep love for all of humanity. We now request Principal Ma'am to please escort our Honorable Chief Guest, Shubham Sir, the Guest of Honor, Savada Dral Ma'am, Respected Chairperson Ma'am, Chairman Sir and Director Sir for the traditional lamp lighting ceremony.
you, ma'am. We humans have, since times immemorial, searched for music and rhythm in the five elements that are the basis of all existence and nature. That which cannot be expressed in words finds an outlet through dance. It is as if the dancer is in communion with all that is beautiful and divine. We seek the blessings of the Almighty through our prayers in the form of an invocation dance, beseeching the benison of Vinayak, the God of abundance and fulfillment. This performance is a panorama of energetic movements, spellbinding formations, and seamless coordination among the performers. Let's invoke the blessings of the Almighty through the invocation dance, Jai Mangal Murti. Sundara Udishendurachi 
challenges the achiever to perform better it is in keeping with the spirit that we acknowledge the achievers through felicitations it is rightly said that children thrive in hope in the faith that is shown in their capabilities by the significant people in their lives we request principal ma'am to please escort our honorable chief guest sir our guest of honor ma'am chairperson ma'am Chairman sir and director sir on the stage to do the honors we have had a fulfilling year of academic proficiencies in stupendous class 10th and 12th board results outstanding sports achievements and a wide range of inter school successes we now have the prize distribution ceremony which is as much an appreciation as for the achievers as much as it is a validation of our efforts in the right direction we now call upon jasnoor kaur of class 11 arushi choudhary grisha sharma and sneha khurana of class 12 to roll out the much coveted award ceremony 2022 Thank you, Sohani and Parvi. Good evening once again. I Arushi, I Sneha, I Grisha, and I Jasnoor feel extremely privileged and honored to host this prestigious award ceremony of Indaprastha International School. All the achievers of Indaprastha are annually felicitated in various domains of scholastic and post-scholastic events to surpass their own performance and to blaze the trails for others to emulate. Ladies and gentlemen, all the students who performed brilliantly in academics for three consecutive years are awarded the scholar tie. We would now request all our prestigious scholar tie awardees to please come on the stage. We request our senior teacher, Miss Rohit Bhaveja, so. to collect the certificates on behalf of all the scholar tie awardees the names of the students are being displayed on the screen let's have a huge round of applause for all the scholar tie awardees ladies and gentlemen the scholar monogram is awarded to all the students who perform
on behalf of all the awardees. Thank you so much, ma'am. Please give them a huge round of applause. We look forward to their continuing excellence. Getting success is hard. Sustaining that success is harder. It demands determination, hard work, and a consistency of thought and action over a long period of time. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, we now have the super scholars of Indra and the students who have accomplished meticulously in academics and proved their prowess for six consecutive years. Shubhra Sahu of 12B1. We would request her parents to collect the award on her behalf as she is representing our school at the TCS Inquisitive 2022 semi-finals and finals in Mumbai. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the applause going. Thank you. 